We're going to talk a little, about, a little bit about um, Neat Video. And uh, usually with Neat Video, as far as their um, upgrading, um, they usually um, add new graphic cards, uh, performance enhancements, and you know f new features. So we're going to take a look at those now. With version 5, um, there has been enhancements with the CPU and the GPU. Uh, CPU-based processing is uh, one and a half times faster. GPU-based processing, uh, one and two GPUs, uh, usually up to two times faster, and the same thing with uh, two GPUs. With version 5.2, um, they added a Metal GPU interface uh, to uh, Neat Video, as well as uh, better performance with two GPUs working simultaneously. Is uh, one of the uh, many new performance enhancements uh, with this application. Okay, we're going to take a look at uh, Neat Video version uh, 5.3. I, I did have a previous version, which is uh, uh, it was version 4. I can't remember what point release it was. Um, when I upgraded to uh, Big Sur, Mac OS Big Sur, um, the version 4 point release wouldn't uh, work anymore, which was um, could be expected because uh, you need a new version. So I upgraded to the uh, recently to the newest version, uh, 5.3, which we're going to be talking about now. I'm gonna, this is going to be geared toward my particular setup, and I'm not going to show you everything. But uh, mostly the performance enhancements since my using uh, prior version uh, uh, four, 4. So I'm going to go into tools and preferences just to show you that. Um, when you go into preferences, you can uh, do a performance test, uh, which is in performance, preferences, performance, and optimize settings. Here it does kind of a speed test based on your system. And uh, it usually give you three options. Uh, based on that test, you can either use the CPU only, you can use the GPU only, or you can use a combination of both. Um, now on my system, it's a uh, 2013 Mac Pro using dual uh, D700 Workstation Fire Pro graphic cards. And um, my previous version of uh, four point whatever it is um, used OpenCL um, and based on the tests uh, I would always have to use a combination of the GPU and the CPU and I was hoping eventually I uh, it would become powerful enough the software that would support GPU only um, which now it does and I'm going to show you why and here's you can see the settings based on your optimized settings uh, CPU, GP, uh, CPU only, GPU only, and here's the CPU and GPU, which is the setting I had to originally use. Now, based on the tests, because um, uh, prior version uh, or a uh, recent version started using Metal, uh, and let me sh uh, see if I can go into here, which is in the advanced settings of your performance. And uh, here you can set um, how your uh, GPU pr preferences. Now the first one's for CUDA. If you have a Mac, um, a certain Mac Pro Tower that uh, you use um, uh, NVIDIA graphic cards and you choose that. Um, and you can also enable um, with AM, uh, AMD GPUs OpenCL and then of course uh, the newer Metal. So. I went ahead and uh, set it up to use um, uh, the new Metal 2 and when I ran the uh, performance test um, it said I could use GPU only which is, I think was 17 frames uh, per second or so, uh, some sort. So now um, it is actually uh, much faster so that was definitely a boost in performance which is great to see. And then of course they added three options. Oh, let me uh, go into advanced settings uh, real quick. Um, plus they added some information about using these uh, different code, uh, GPU settings, which I'm kind of glad they did. Um, for instance, like if you use metal and um, you have some graphic uh, issues or problems, it could be, uh, let's say you updated your drivers for CUDA or something like that, you could, uh, if you're having problems with that, you can uh, 
uncheck that or even just use software rendering, software rendering using just the GPU or CPU, excuse me, software rendering instead of using the GPU if you have some issues. And then same thing with um, OpenCL and Metal. For instance, uh, if you use Metal and you're, you're having some issues, you can um, just go with OpenCL until you can figure out what's going on with the uh, metal um, using metal to uh, hardware render and of course with um, uh, Apple they um, are depreciating their OpenCL they're not going to support it anymore they're going with their own version of metal 2 now so um, eventually um, maybe they're going to take that option out uh, or if it's going to be problems in the future because as it gets older and older and it's not updated I don't know if somebody's maybe pick it up for OpenCL for maybe Linux or uh, something like that. So I just want to give you an update on my um, the updated um, Neat Video version uh, 5.3. Now uh, Neat Video has done some testing uh, for various uh, graphic cards between OpenCL and Metal, and uh, in some cases uh, there's been as much as 40% improvement. However, um, with Apple's um, D500 uh, workstation graphic cards, uh, not as much. Um, now, I do use the D700s, which are a bit more powerful, um, but I'm uh, expecting to have similar results as well. Um, for full HD, which could be anywhere from 720p to 1080p, um, in some cases, uh, just 2.8%, which isn't much. However, when you um, switch to uh, denoising 4K video, uh, in some instances showing almost 20%, which is still quite a performance boost. So I, want, I just want to do this quick update, uh, which I found this on uh, Neat Video's um, web blog.